Global development jobs are competitive. To stand out from the pack of applicants, you need a standout CV. But global development has different norms and expectations than other industries, so standard CV advice may not apply. So how do you get started? First, let's get this myth out of the way. The one-page rule does not apply in international development. Development recruiters like to see more detail, so don't sweat if it takes you more than one page to fit in all of your skills and experience. Just be careful to not make it too long. Two to three pages is good, five pages max. You will want to get started with creating a base CV. This is what you'll use to share with your network, reaching out for an informational interview, or at a career fair, or to post online on your DevX profile. Your base CV should brand your core skills and experience so it's easy for a recruiter to understand what you're great at doing. Highlight your most marketable and relevant skills, and use keywords that'll help you show up in recruiter searches. And let me take a moment to pause on keywords. Like any industry, there are unique terms, acronyms, and vocabulary to development. Words will scream to anyone reviewing your CV that you have the right stuff. Make sure you know what those words are and use them. If you're transitioning from another sector, translate your skills into global dev speak. In your CV, make sure you always include your name and contact information, reverse chronological order of your work history, both the names of your employer and those of any donors that funded your work, for example, like USAID, DFID, or the EU, project names and acronyms, location of the job, including the country name, and dates, including the month and the year, project budget, a section for languages, and nationality, since many global development positions require specific citizenship or work authorization. To make your CV stand out, consider adding two to three core skills or areas of expertise to brand yourself as an expert, or a key qualification section where you highlight your most impressive and relevant experience. Including these at the top of the first page is where recruiters will spend most of the time looking at your CV. Okay, great, you have your base CV, but you aren't done yet. When applying to jobs, the single most important thing you can do to stand out is to tailor your CV to that job. And this is easier than you think. Focus on revising the key qualifications section and core areas of expertise to match the requirements of that job. Renaming and reordering skills and experiences accordingly. Remove experience that is not relevant to the job and will detract from your more relevant experience. And add in relevant experience that may be missing. And use specific keywords from the job description. Also localize it, for example, by adding or removing a photo depending on what country the employer is based in. Format to any required CV template the employer may require. Remember, recruiters spend on average six seconds on a CV before deciding to go in the yes pile. Make sure everything they see in those six seconds counts. Now you're set. And remember, a CV is not a static document, but rather a living, breathing one that should change as your career develops. And one last thing, be sure to upload your new and improved CV to your DevX profile.